Hey there, this is Lady Jamers, and welcome back to Crafting with Lady Jamers. Today, I am doing what I like to call baseball bracelets. Now, you could also do a keychain with this. And right here, I tried my attempt to see how it would work, and I did this for Jeff and Angela. Here's one version, and here's another. And I have that right, right? Yes. And basically, I took beads that have letters and beads that have baseballs and made kind of a cute little bracelet right there and you can also take one of these slip rings and all and make it a keychain now i noticed something while i was doing this i used this string which seems thin enough but the end starts to fray after a little while. So Vaseline seemed to help. So I grabbed the uh, the Carmex first and hey, it's like Vaseline, lip balm, it worked. And then I noticed that I also have some of this trine as well as this trine. And in my in my little example, it worked a whole lot easier. So if you want to do your team colors, go at it. Just make sure the little hole is big enough because the hole in this one is fine. Let me show you. And that one is just a little bit too tiny. So, let me show you how I did it by using my, my team colors, Go Phillies. And I got my new hard ears, like I said. You'd be seeing these a lot. They, they match nicely, don't you think? Be right back. Believe it or not, this is take two. And why it's take two is that, you know how we said that you need this Carmex Vaseline? Uh, I got up to the eye in Phillies and it wasn't having it. So, I basically took that apart and put my initials on it and I'm going to show you how to make a keychain out of the red and we're going to not have the red trine for the fillies we're going to have the little uh, hemp cording that I was showing you in the previous video now here's the the B in my my last name so you put that in and like I said you have to when it gets to where it doesn't want to go you try a little bit of uh, Vaseline and if the Vaseline doesn't work you uh, trim off a little edge and that's another reason of why you should have your thread be at least 20 to 36 inches. It's always uh, better to have a little bit too long than a little bit too short. And this one, I did not have enough uh, cording, so it, it's okay, but it's not nice, if you know what I mean. And I want this project to be nice. Are projects fun? Well, that 
sometimes is easy, sometimes is not. So, here is the JRB, and that's going to be sliding around with the uh, little baseball. And that kind of makes it kind of fun, and you can uh, fiddle with it while you're uh, waiting for anything. And make a uh, triple knot on the ends. And you can do a double knot if your, um, your bead is, uh, the hole is thin like on these guys, it's thin. So you could get away with a double one. But for the baseballs, if you're doing an end piece, do a triple knot. Um, center piece, you can get away with a double knot. If you do a single knot, then it, the rope, the bead just goes right over the rope and talk about frustration factor, right? Now, did that a little bit tight, but it, is, it has a little give in there. And it looks nice. And like I said, you should have about three inch on the end before you go in. And what that is, is so you can have an adequate knot for if you're making it a bracelet or if you're putting it on one of these. And let me get this other one and then I'll as I'm um, doing this as a uh, keychain, I'll show you how to put it on here. Just bring all the string through. Now, if you are doing a keychain with, say, just initials, I'd say go with uh, the 20 inch uh, length instead of like the 38, the 36. But if you have a name like Phillies that has like six letters or something, uh, then go with the uh, 36 inch. You know, so, rule of thumb, I'd say three letters or under, 20 inches, five letters or more, about 30, 36. And here we go. Put that string over here. Now, for this project, you just need scissors, beads, and string. And you don't need glue gun. You don't need regular glue. Uh, you don't need to set up um, papers so you won't mess up anything. It's good for the kids, good for the adults. Teaches them how to make knots. So, take your little slip ring. If you're like me and you like crafts, you have slip rings. Now, if you don't have a slip ring, but you have an old keychain, uh, you can take the little charm and put it on another uh, key ring. Because if you're also like me, you love getting key rings. I like getting key rings everywhere I go. It's uh, a thing. Now you can make this as tight or as loose as you want.
and double or triple knot it. Make sure it's secure. And uh, I would not really put my keys on the string part. I might even get a different uh, slip ring and attach it to this one. I'll show you. Here's that. And what I mean by I might not put my keys on this one, I'd get another slip ring and then I'd put this around here and then attach it so it's like here and then the keys would go on this one. That way when you put the keys on, they go nicely on. Now if you're putting this on, say your pocketbook or your backpack, it's perfect to put it on like like this because uh, I always like and use it as like a a pull a zipper pull you could say and you can trim off the extra edges right here and at the end of the video I'm gonna show you uh, pictures of everything and make sure your your knot is tight because if the knot's not tight it's gonna fall off and see that has my initials on there now for this you can't really see this on here but for this this one's thinner and once again, you put like the, about three inches. I have a little thing here and you can, uh, you could even go up to six inches on the, the Lee Ray if you wanna really make sure that it's okay. My uh, first thought about doing this was to, uh, to braid and then put the bead over the braid. Well, that I nixed right away because found out on the red it doesn't like to go period so um, it would be really hard braided now if you just want to braid a bracelet this uh, cording is perfect you can make really pretty just, you know, braided period without any beads. <coughs> that could be another video. And for this one, we're only going to put one, um, one baseball at each end. Make sure you have all your letters lined up and that you have them all going the same way. And as you can see, it goes on so much nicer when you have the proper size uh, string. And does that make the, uh, like it go a lot easier? The answer to that is yes. Now, if you do, uh, do your letter upside down or backwards. Just take it off and put it back on. And 
And even the uh, hemp rope is getting a little bit on the frayed edge. But luckily for us, or for me, I should say, it didn't happen until I got to the S in Phillies. Then triple knot the end. And one other thing about making the string a little bit too long is that if you make it way too long, you can always use the leftover string for another project. Okay, so here we go, the finished project. And you can play around with the letters and all. And then measure on your wrist. And like you could make a keychain out of that extra. And depending on if you want to knot it or make it a bow. And this is when you get someone else to tie it for you. <laughs> because Doing it one-handed is not so easy. Yeah, I'm just gonna... And there you go, we have the bracelet. And... keychain you have the round keychain and you have keychain going up and down and we have the other side of Pennsylvania right here <laughs> so you can see which uh, state I'm rooting for home state right So, I hope you enjoyed this month's baseball bracelet and keychain. So, I will put all the pictures of everything down in the description. And I hope you have a wonderful day. Remember to like, subscribe, tell your friends about Lady Jamer's channel. And don't forget to hit those notification buttons so you have get notified on each video. Have a wonderful day. Take care. And go Pennsylvania. Bye-bye.